de Corsi, a protege of British SIS Chief Sir Stuart Menzies, was born November 6, 1909. He was the son of the claimant to the title of the 8th Duke de Grants Menil, which is a dubious title of Anglo-Norman origin, nonetheless given credence as an honorary by de Grants Peerage. De Corsi has had numerous high-level associations, associates, I should say, within the Club of the Isles, and he is one of the leading apologists for the House of Windsor's involvement in the drive to impose Adolf Hitler upon a prostate Germany for a drive to the east against Russia. Among his Club of the Isles friends who were involved in the project were His Royal Highness Duke George Duke of Kent, who was also a leader of the United Grand Lodge of England, and King Edward VIII, who was forced to abdicate because of his pro-Nazi views, when by 1936 a faction of the Club of the Isles had come to see Hitler as a dangerous Frankenstein monster. Of course, he remained faithful to the Duke of Windsor, even after the Duke was known to have entered into negotiations with Hitler to be restored to the throne of England by the Wehrmacht. De Corsi was very close to the evangelical Lord Holm of the Herschel, who was with Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain at Munich. However, the egotist Kenneth Hugh de Corsi made the mistake of placing some of his records on file at the Hoover Institution's archives, including a document he claims he wrote in Wormwood Scrubs Prison while serving a sentence there for financial fraud. This document concerns his own role in the escape of convicted Soviet spy and suspected British triple agent George Blake in October 1966. Some United States intelligence sources believe that Blake did more damage to United States interests than British triple agent H.A.R. Kim Philby, whom you've all heard of. In his latest prophecy appearing in the pages of Corsi's Intelligence Digest and Special Office, he is once again claiming that there will be a renewed Middle East war by 1998, that's this year, that will escalate into World War III. And ladies and gentlemen, if you can see all of the information that I gather here from all of my people worldwide, I would not, I would not reject that as an offhand ridiculous statement. It's very possible, and it could actually occur. According to DeCorsi, Russia is assisting Iran and Syria to prepare for such a war through the transfer of nuclear technology. In order to save Israel, the British will have to rely upon the United States' arsenal to obliterate the Russian-Syrian-Iranian alliance. Should President Bill Clinton, who of course he states hates Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, balk at this escalation, then the British will destroy Clinton by playing their Trump card, 60 million evangelicals in the United States. The situation is such that Netanyahu may himself launch a preemptive nuclear strike. Otherwise, de Corsi said that China was doing everything it could to maneuver Russia into an alliance with Iran for the forthcoming Middle East War. The reason is that Russia is extremely weak militarily. It has only its strategic missile capability left after having decimated its other military units, and that's what they want the world to believe. It is not true, ladies and gentlemen. If there is a new Middle East war, then he foresees China might move to take eastern Russia, which he claims has been a long-term goal. It would be impossible, given China's vast population and territorial debt, for it to be conquered by Russia or by anybody else, for that matter. Of course, his latest prophecy is a reliable expression of the viewpoint of a powerful faction within the Club of the Arts. As a leader of BIWF in London pointed out, King George VI had had his genealogical chart traced back to King David, and he educated his daughters in British Israelism, including his heir, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. 